Hey viewers, Hayden Gaming here with another Valheim build tutorial, and today we're looking at this spacious but defensive stone stronghold. This base is a perfect long term defensive structure which boasts loads of internal space for all crafting tables, heaps of chests, a cooking station with all the upgrades, as well as allowing for a secondary floor level for even more storage, a sleeping chamber, space for portal hubs and anything else you might want to add in. As always, we begin with the floor plan and foundation, so be sure to have a flattened area and place a crafting table and stone cutters table in the centre of where you want to build. Leading on from a singular placement of a 4x2 stone wall, we create a circular pattern of stone walls using a 7 further on each side from your original placement, leaving a section clear for where our gateway will be. We then build out a 2x4 section of wood floor tiles leading from where your entranceway is and repeating this so you have 8 sections, ensuring that you skip every other stone wall when laying your floor. We'll then fill in the mist flooring sections with a 2x2 two two section of wood floor tiles and then some small 1x1 one one tiles to fill in the small remaining gaps, repeating this for all sections of floor area that are still exposed. To construct the outer wall of the stronghold, we place 4 metres of wood beams perpendicular to the inner stone wall and then another perpendicular 1 metre wood beam, allowing us to then place a circular pattern of three full height wood walls all the way around the base concentrically, but again leaving a gap for our gateway which we'll prepare for with some one by one wood walls. For the walkway of our rampart, we place two by two sections of wood floor tiles leading out from the inner stone walls and fill in the gaps using one by one floor tiles from the snap points of the edge of these sections. To finish off the external wall, we place stake walls inside the already placed wood walls to offer further protection against attacks. Building up access to the walkway, we'll place two steps alongside the first stone walls on either side of the gateway. As you can see, you might need to play around with some floor tiles here to ensure the snap point works, but it's not too tricky to get right. We'll then put in our wood gates and build up a raised platform for our walkway. I've finished off the gateway with some usual beam trimming, but you can do whatever design you like here, as long as you leave space to walk underneath the walkway. To then create the roofing over the rampart, place 6 metres of vertical wood poles at the end of the wall sections and join these up with 6 metres of horizontal wood beams to then allow us to place 3x2 sections of thatch roofing leading upwards towards the inner stone wall of the base. Repeat this process around the outer wall so you have a fully fortified rampart with a roof covering to stop damage from the elements. We'll then proceed to build up our internal stone wall. Again, using 4x2 stone walls, simply build up 3 more layers on top of the existing foundation to meet the roofing of our external wall and then, using 2x1 stone walls, build up one further layer. We'll then use 26 degree thatch roofing to build inwards from this final stone wall layer revolving all the way around the base and building up two layers high. You will then need to return inside the base and using 4 metres of core wood poles build up 16 metres high to create the support for both our roof and our chimney. Thank you. 
back up on the roof. We also add in some 26 degree support beams leading up from the inside of the upper stone wall and meeting a cross beam that we'll place on our central core wood structure. We can then use these 26 degree core wood support beams to guide the rest of our thatch roof placements and fill in the gaps by just using the snap points from the existing roofing. To finish up, simply put in some 4 meter core wood beams at the top of the structure and add in some 26 degree thatched roofing to create a cap for your chimney. You can then choose whatever internal design you want in terms of adding in another floor for your base and a staircase to match. Just ensure you close up your chimney to stop smoke building up inside your epic stone stronghold. If you're far enough along in the game to have access to tar, then you can upgrade your roof to the far more sturdy and better looking dark wood. While you're at it, you can add some arches and beams along the rampart to really add a nice finishing touch. Thanks for watching and sticking around to the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe for more Valheim content, hit that like button and drop a comment on any ideas you have for future builds or ways you can upgrade this stone stronghold. Until next time.